Welcome back to my channel. Of course, this is Mimi and if you're new here, well, cue the intro. So it's a beautiful day in paradise and today I'm at the Ocean Eden Bay in Trelawney, Jamaica. If you haven't seen my videos on the Ocean Coral Spring Hotel just yet, go ahead and check those out. But today we are back at the Ocean Hotels and this time at the newly opened Ocean Eden Bay which is the adults only part of the Ocean Hotels. Now the family resort is the Ocean Coral Spring Hotel and so today we're going to be talking about pretty much the difference between the two and just my general experience here at Ocean Eden Bay. The check-in experience, the customer service, the room, the entertainment and activities, the aesthetics, the grounds and then we're also going to get into a little bit of general observations and a few FYI bits without further ado let's get right into it so first of all when you drive into the property most times the security would have your name on a list they did not have my name on the list but the security did the right thing he just took my reservation number wrote it down and allowed me to drive into the hotel and proceed to check in so apart from that check-in was very easy very quick very seamless very very good there was just one person ahead of me in the check-in line and so it didn't take very long for me to get to the front and when I did it was a quick and easy process definitely my reservation was there there was no issues now if you haven't seen my ocean coral review just yet go check it out but spoiler alert there were some major issues with the check-in process so to do a comparison I'd say that Eden Bay definitely has improved on that and definitely got it right so the room wasn't ready we arrived at around 12 or between 12 and 1 o'clock somewhere there we all know check-in is typically at 3 o'clock and so it's generally no surprise if you arrive earlier than 3 and the room isn't ready no worries we were able to go out and have lunch at the restaurants and by the time we returned from lunch our room was indeed ready no issues with receiving or room key at all so good job with the check-in process major improvement from what I experienced at Ocean Coral Spring now customer service generally is okay right generally the staff will you know see you wherever you are and say hello just try to engage in conversation checking in with you are you okay are you enjoying your stay etc 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 however to drill down into it a little bit uh, I do think it could be a bit better as it relates to some members of staff that we would have encountered as well as some of the issues that we had so for example the minibar is not stopped when you arrive right so they tell you that at the front desk and i also mentioned that in my room tour now if you haven't seen the room tour yet definitely go ahead and check that out but the minibar is not stopped and so you need to call room service for them to come and stock your minibar for you i had to call about three times because each time i called they promised someone would come no one ever came i even had to leave the room just because we're waiting for so long i had to leave the room a couple of times and still by the time we got back there was nothing in our minibar we even had to stop by the front desk and speak to an agent to say you know we had requested that our minibar be stocked and no one has arrived when will they come generally no one was able to give you a tat turnaround time and we just had to wait until eventually they came several calls and attempts later the same thing happened when i requested a washcloth because believe it or not there was no washcloth in the room when we arrived uh, there were a couple of things that were not here that we had to ask for. There wasn't a steamer or an iron. There wasn't a bane. You know, a few things that really, a few basic things that really should be in a room when you enter, but we had to call and ask for and we had to wait a very long time. The washcloth in particular, very strangely, was short. <laughs> for some reason, they didn't have any washcloth available. So we called a couple of times and each time they were saying, you know, we're short right now. It's not just you. This entire block of rooms 
have no washcloth and so as soon as one becomes available we'll have it delivered to you we did not get a washcloth until the following day so i don't know what that's about but you know these things kind of impact not kind of but these things definitely impact the overall customer service experience which is why i say there you know so there's some improvement that's required there right one thing i definitely have to comment on because i've seen a lot of other reviews on ocean eden bay and there has been an issue with people being locked in their room and locked out of their room or their keys their keys just not working at all my key definitely worked for the entire time that i was here i never had an issue with not being able to go into the room never had an issue with being locked in or locked out but i will say that you have to be um, very intentional with the way that you place the key on the sensor i don't know if that's what the thing is with most people who have been having an issue with the lock or with the door or with the key it's just because i did try a few times and failed so you know i would have tried to open the door with the key a couple of times and it didn't work but then I, when i took my time to really place the key strategically um, on the sensor it worked i don't know what to say about that but maybe if you go to ocean eden bay and you have issues with your key just take the time to really place it correctly on the sensor and hopefully that works out for you because it, i can imagine for the people who had that experience it must be extremely annoying to just check in especially if you're checking in after a long flight or something get to your room and the key not work or you go out and you have lunch and you come back and the key not work so bear that in mind so overall if i was to grade customer service and check in based on feeling <laughs> how generally the customer service here makes me feel i would give ocean eden bay a three out of five for checking and customer service grouping, grouping those two together check-in was great but then customer service kind of brought it down a little bit for me so in terms of feeling i would give it a three but i think the actual fair rating would be a 3.5 just because the check-in was definitely you know pretty good so fairly i would say a 3.5 out of 5 for checking and customer service combined all right so let's talk about this beautiful room listen i love my room I loved my room. It's very spacious. That's one thing I definitely loved about my room at the Ocean Coral Spring. And it stays true to the Ocean Eden Bay. It's very spacious. It's very big. Nice, beautiful, comfortable king size bed. It's a comfortable room. I love it. However, <laughs> however, there are a few things that could be better so definitely go ahead and check out my room tour right the full room tour um, because there are a lot more details there but what I will say is like I said before there are a few things some fundamental basic things which were not in the room we didn't have a bin we didn't have washcloth we didn't have an iron right so for me the room gets a solid 3.5 out of 5 because of those things but generally speaking I love the room it's a beautiful room so check out the room tour all right so we're on to food and beverage no thanks be to god the food was good the food was good i cannot lie i cannot tell any lies the food is nice monotony <laughs> <laughs> when when the patois when the jamaican patois when the native language starts to come out you know it's some it's really genuine like the food was good and i am very grateful for that because that's definitely one of the main things i look forward to when i go to an all-inclusive hotel is the food and the drinks and i have to give eden bay a solid four out of five for the food because it was pretty good at every restaurant that we went to and i i did attempt to go to as many different restaurants as possible
One thing I will note, however, is that not all the restaurants are open. And so there is a list of all the opening times and all the restaurants that are open on any given day that's available at the front desk. Same for Eden Bay, same for Ocean Coral Spring. By the way, one thing I didn't mention before, which is important, is that if you visit the Ocean Eden Bay, you have access to the Ocean Coral Spring as well. So no worries, you can go to all the restaurants, both on the side of the Eden Bay and on the side of Ocean Coral Spring. The only thing that was sort of a disappointment was that I really wanted to have dinner at the steakhouse one night and the line was ridiculous. As a matter of fact, there were lines almost at every restaurant. That was my first night and I don't know if that's because it was a Saturday night, but the, there were so many people standing in line at La Locanda, the Italian restaurant, at the steakhouse, at Sakura, the Asian restaurant. The, the lines were just very long. I do not know why, but I guess these restaurants are favorites. That may have been why. And again, that was the only thing that would have been an issue. That night I ended up having dinner at La Locanda. Um, I still had to wait in line to eat there, but eventually I got in. Oh, another point to note is that if you want particular top shelf or premium liquor, you may have to pay a little bit extra or additional for those things. You know, so there's general wine and rum and vodka and some top shelf of liquor as well available and included in the cost of your room, but there are some others that you may have to pay for separately. So bear that in mind. Apart from that, we also had, you know, pastry and coffee and so on at Mike's, which was also pretty decent. And so you're not short of any good food here. I definitely, as I said before, I give Ocean Eden Bay and Ocean Coral Spring because you dine at both restaurants at both resorts a solid four out of five for food and beverage. So as it relates to entertainment and activities, to be honest with you, Ocean Coral Spring has a vibe like the general feeling and vibe of the hotel is very resort it's very fun they have a lot going on they have the entertainment committee they have the disco they have the the bowling alley they have the showtime era where there's usually some live dancing show that's going on and then just general dj playing music it's a whole vibe as a matter of fact i was i'm here during the time of super bowl and they had a whole super bowl set up you know what i mean so people could have drinks and popcorn and just you know different snacks and stuff at the sports bar while they're watching the super bowl on a huge screen they had like two screens available so ocean coral spring really creates a fun type of vibe ocean eden bay on the other hand it's like for the old folks I'm kidding, but really and truly what I mean is that it's really more quiet and relaxed. There's not a lot of things going on by Ocean Eden Bay. Ocean Coral Spring is really where the life of the party is. And so if that's what you're here for, good thing is that you have access to both properties if you're staying at Ocean Eden Bay, so you won't have a challenge there. All in all, I would say the entertainment is a bit lacking on Ocean Eden Bay's side. They do have a aquatic ballet, which I was never able to see for some reason um, because I either missed the time or I don't know I was just never able to see it but they have a list of all the activities also at the front desk both at Eden Bay and Ocean Coral Springs so if you want to know what's going on on any given day you can definitely check those out. The hotel gym is also on the side of Ocean Coral Spring and the gym was pretty good I had a decent workout I think a wide variety of equipment is available from cardio to weights free weights assistance machines etc so you can get a pretty good workout at the hotel gym now I give the ocean hotels a solid four for entertainment but that is strongly because of the vibe at ocean coral spring now let's talk about the aesthetics and the grounds Trust me, if you watch my Ocean Coral Spring review, you will see I was in love with the aesthetics. It is a beautiful hotel. It is gorgeous. When you step into the lobby, it is grand and beautiful. Same for Ocean Coral Spring and the same for Ocean Eating Bay. It's a very nice lobby, very nice to look at. You can take some lovely pictures. The decor at all the restaurants are on point i tell you i i just loved the decor every single restaurant the aesthetics the grounds the look the views everything beautiful you will enjoy the views here at the ocean hotels so for my general observations the beach by ocean coral spring when i went there was a bit rocky i didn't even go into the water i wanted to go take a picture of the swing in the water and 
I didn't because it would mean I would have to walk through several rocks to get to the swing. And unfortunately, the beachside by Eden Bay is also rocky. So for me, the pool is where it's at. I will say though, when I, I, I walked by the Privilege area because they have their loyalty. I think it's a loyalty club called Privilege. So if you're a privileged guest, you stay at a particular part of the hotel, as well as you have access to a couple of restaurants and bars that are exclusive to Privilege club members. Now the beach by that side, I will say just by general observation was not as rocky. Um, and it seemed like it would have been a bit better to swim in than the beach by Coral Spring and by Eden Bay. Um, generally speaking though, the beach is very clean. I don't recall seeing a lot of seaweed by the shore. There was some seaweed a little bit out further, but generally it's a clean beach. Uh, you only have to contend with the rocks. And so I would say walk with your sea shoes. Now, general FYI, uh, if you lose your keys, you will have to pay 25 US dollars. Uh, you receive towel cards at the front desk, which you will use to get towels for the poolside, etc. You have to return those towel cards back to the front desk when you're checking out. If you do not, or if you lose them, you also have to pay $25. And your armband, which is this thing, if you lose this, I believe you have to pay 10 US dollars. So that brings us to the end of our review of the Ocean Eden Bay. I really hope the information I provided was helpful for you. As usual, I'm here to help you to make a decision when you're trying to figure out where to go on vacation in Jamaica, or if you live in Jamaica, where to go on your staycation. Now, overall, I just based on my general feeling will give Ocean Eden Bay a 3.5 out of 5. However, to do a fair rating, the average of all the ratings I've given for each category would actually amount to a 3.8 out of 5. So not a bad rating at all. It simply means that there are a few things that need to be improved. But generally speaking, I think this is a good resort to have a vacation at, especially because you have access to both the Ocean Coral Spring and the Ocean Eden Bay. Beautiful resort. And like I said in my review of the Ocean Coral Spring, no matter what hiccups or what challenges you have, whether you're here or any other hotel, you, you have to make the best of the situation, no matter what it is. So it's all about coming out with a good vibe, with good company you know just to enjoy yourself i do recommend the ocean eden bay and the ocean coral spring for your vacation destination it's a beautiful hotel in Trilal in jamaica i know there are other youtube videos where there are several other issues that people actually encounter when they're here i'm happy to say that i didn't have a lot of the issues that other people had and i had a great time so with that said Come on over to Ocean Coral Spring or Ocean Eden Bay in Trelawney, Jamaica. And I certainly look forward to hearing what your experience is. Go ahead and leave a comment and let me know what your experience was. You know, if you had the same experience as me, etc. So thank you so much for watching as usual. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like this video, comment if you have some questions and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps my channel and I really appreciate it. So until the next video, take care.